Jesus Reigns TV. Colonizing, dominating, and impacting nations with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. A men anointed by God for such a time as this, proclaiming the decrees of heaven and announcing the seasons of God among man. A men aligned with the calendar of heaven. A prophet with an attitude of a servant, a father with a heart of son, a voice of prophecy in this generation. And as it begin to happen, begin to pray for the revival is beginning. Begin to pray. The revival is beginning. Oh shame South Africa. Oh shame President of South Africa. For I have already spoken. Nothing can be changed. For they say. Ha. This president. Shall not listen to anyone. In South Africa. Oh, shame. I gave him a warning in 2020 before the pandemic began. I told you that they would come outside of the country to tempt you. And I told you that if you don't want to choose the nation, choose the Lord. And if you don't want to choose the Lord, choose the nation. But thou, President of South Africa, have not even chosen one of the either. You have chosen the enemy. And therefore, the enemy will show you the consequences. I told you that even those who were around you were not for you. And I said their files are already being taken out. And indeed, they have done so, as I've already spoken. So, President of South Africa, the only word that I have for you now I say it is better to fall in the hand of the Lord than to fall in the hand of men. Allow the Lord to be the hand that you fall upon. For he has already decided that your days are already numbered. He's already decided. So why don't you just surrender to him? Why don't you just give yourself to him? I've told you already everything I've said. It. So now I want to speak to South Africa because they kept on saying in Robben Island when we were there. When we went to Robben Island, I kept on hearing them in 1989 in the winter of June. As they flew, they flew from all over the world and they said where shall we make a covenant in South Africa to take over the continent of Africa they said Robin Island is the place that is where we shall shed the blood and the Lord says I even saw the blood in Robin Island and the Lord sent me there as he servant, and I went to Robin Island and when I went to Robin Island the Lord spoke to me, he said, even the dragon that is seated within the waters of the Cape will begin to respond to the power of the Lord that is about to change the nation. From there, they started banning the parliament and they did all the evil. Because in a nation that has no democracy, there is no parliament. The Lord is talking to you. So right now, they have destroyed every system in South Africa. That even your judiciary has already been invaded. As I told you in 2020, December 2021, that in the year of 2021, corruption in the judiciary will rise. And it will be exposed and it will be the spectacle of the world. It has begun, it will continue. I see many, many judges in this country will be called criminals. 
and they will be judged for criminal cases. God is going to bring them. None of them is going to escape. None of them is going to escape. None of them. All of them are going to account for their evil. So as I'm talking to you, they are crying. Because many of them are talking to one another and they are saying, we even regret that why did we even accept it? Why did we even do it? Because now they are using this against us. The law says you have already accepted it. Wait for the consequences now. For they will come. So in this country, pray for your military too. Do you believe that God has righteous men and women living in this world who will not tolerate evil, who will not allow oppression to rise? For even the military of South Africa shall call upon the name of the Lord. The military of this country shall say, in Jesus, we will put our hope. They will begin to worship God from the military barracks and sing a song. These are the days of Elijah. And as they sing that song, the Lord will begin to come into this country and make changes. For you said, what can we do? Where can we look upon? Who shall we even vote for? That's all that you have asked. God says communism is not the future of South Africa. God will not allow communism to take a stronghold in this nation. For the communists have always disguised as helpers yet destroyers. They hate the Lord Jesus because communism to them is a religion. The Lord says there has been an antichrist agenda in this country to make this country a communist country. To hate the church. Raising your children to hate the church. But remember, before they are, I was, says the Lord. So I want you to know this. The election system is going to be changed in this country. You will not vote the same way again. The Lord will increase your confidence into the voting system. By changing the patterns again. Can I hear the sound of melody a little? Because as I keep hearing the sound of the melody, the Lord says a rising is coming in this country of patriotism. The rise of those who love their nation. Those who will guard their nation jealously. Those who say South Africa belongs to God. And to him alone we will serve. The Lord says, as the sounds of the trumpet are, are singing in the spirit, even the four walls of this nation that are guarded by the four principalities that are controlling this country right now. The Lord says, I have now stationed even the angels of God 
to begin to move the pillars that are guarding this country in the state that it is. The Lord says, I'm making the pillars to fall as the intercessors are praying. As the pillars are falling, I keep seeing this leader. He is not a politician. Don't look at the politics. He is hesitating in his heart. He says, but Lord, are you really calling me? But why me? You have already heard the things that I've said about me. So why should I do what you said I should do? So they are already fighting him already. Because they can see the hand of the Lord. But says the Lord, I also have a David in South Africa. Because it is now 40 days and no man has challenged the Goliath. He is not afraid. He's my saving. But the Lord will begin to remove those who are giving him the wrong counsel. So that he can yield to what the Lord has called him to do. God will raise a praying president in the nation of South Africa. A president who shall pray in the name of the Lord. He shall restore this nation and give it back to God. Because before 1994, this country made a pledge. And it said, Ngozi Sigeleli, Africa. As they were praying to God to save South Africa and the continent of Africa. The law says South Africa was chosen to be the beacon of light in the continent. And therefore, I will restore the fortunes of Zion. And I will restore what the enemy has stolen in this country. The Lord will raise this praying president. He does not know things much. But the Lord will begin to teach him. And the Lord says, in the next three months, I'm going to see him. He will rise. And as he rise, they will oppose, but they don't know the power behind him. A fire and a love for the nation will come out of South Africa. For those who have been trained to hate their nation will begin to say, we were deceived all along. We love South Africa. We love our country. And we know that God, you will save this country. A fire of patriotism. No more blood of the innocent. No more blood will be shed. For indeed, they are sharing the blood. Saying more chaos is more favor and power. But more chaos is destruction to the perpetrators. For it is only a few days few hours before you see the mighty hand of God. God will do what he said he will do. South Africa, your children will worship God. They will. I know some people said, no, they can never. I'm saying they will. They will worship the Lord.
God is about to do great things in this country. You will begin to hear the news in the upcoming weeks or so. They will start talking about human traffickers. Immediately you hear about human traffickers as they talk about them and being arrested and all that. Begin to know that the sounds of justice are coming. The right people are in right places right now. I'm saying the right people are in right places right now. Something is happening. Because your eyes cannot see, it does not mean it's not working. It's happening. So be ready. God's servant Yamkala Joseph has been released by God in the year of 2020 to publicly prophesy and speak to the nations of the world. Since then we have seen many prophetic fulfillment and events foretold before they happen in a very accurate and powerful way. If this generation is to believe, they should know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever.